Bet First Man 2 now, live on Indiegogo. Dick Giordano, changing comics one day at a time. Whoops, sorry about that jiggle right there. Let me just get the camera steady. There we go. Uh, I went through uh, Dick Giordano's drawing comics book that he did before. Now I thought we'd go through this book by Tomorrow's Publishing. That's a biography about Dick. Shows his art, great interviews in here. Um, I have lots of these Tomorrow's books. They're a great publisher that does great books. Michael Yuri's a great guy. Uh, worked at DC as an editor, worked at Dark Horse. So uh, let's delve into this book. Changing Comics, One Day at a Time. This book came out in 2003. Forward by Neil Adams. Neil and Dick worked together at Continuity Studios for a long time. Look, there's Michael Urie's business card, the guy that uh, wrote this book. Nice introduction by Michael Yuri. Uh Get into some of the Dick's early life and stuff and influences and whatnot. Uh, this is one of Dick's earliest covers. I love these books from Tomorrow's. Like I said, they're very comprehensive. Uh, they really get into the career of the artists that they uh, talk about and spotlight. So you can see a lot of early work. So if you want to hunt some of this stuff down, you can. Uh, it's Golden Age stuff, so it's probably not cheap. Behind the scenes photos, the Charlton plant. Uh, it was flood ravaged at one point. Breaking the rules. Breaking the rules. Breaking the rules. Uh, Dick did some romance stuff. This actually doesn't look like it's inked by Dick, though. It looks like it's inked by... Uh, let's see... This is a cover he did for the Badge of Justice. Good cop comics. Uh, look at this. Some daily strip stuff that Mr. Giordano did. Of course, everybody did romance stuff back in the day. Uh, wonderful stuff. I love, I tell you, I love Dick Giordano's inking. It's all brush. Uh, well, I would think that this gray tone hatching is pen, but other than that, everything else is pretty much all brush. The dude could s do things with a brush that other people couldn't. Look at that. Look at that cover. I mean, this book is just chock full of artwork uh, you haven't seen before. And I just love the inking on that cover. Love this thin line, the contrast of lines. Great stuff. Uh, Howard Chaikin talking about Dick Giordano. Jim Aparo talking about Dick Giordano. Little Abbott and Costello. Uh, one of Giordano's first forays into illustrating superheroes, the cover to 1964's Blue Beetle number three. Man. You know, guys, this is fun for me because I haven't looked at some of these books in a long time. So I just start, uh, you know, I'm looking at them for the first time with you guys. Look at this. Here you go. Rob Roy recipe, two part scotch, one part Italian vermouth, one dash bitters. There you go. Look, you can learn how to mix drinks in this book. See the things I forget. Let's go through. Joe Kubert, Julie Schwartz talking about him, of course, uh, Dick Ink Neal on some of the famous Green Lantern Green Arrow issues. This story I love from World's Finest, done by Neil Adams and Dick Giordano. Marv Wolfman talking about him. Uh, I started with page one of Hawk and Dove. Giordano remembers on their debut on Showcase 75. I didn't know he inked that stuff. I assume that's what he's talking about. I have those issues. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna flip through a little quicker because I don't wanna I don't wanna give away the milk for free or whatever that saying is. God, look at the inks on this. I just I love these thick, bold lines and the contrast between the thick and the thins and how that really pops out and stuff. 
I love these Wonder Woman issues he inked over Mike Sikowski. The wrinkles in this outfit are just, for me as an artist, just gorgeous. Dick Giordano, advertising gallery. You're like, what? Yeah, he did advertising stuff. He worked at Continuity with Neil. And they would work on stuff together. So you can see some of the advertising stuff Dick did. Great stuff. I love this. This is. I'm so glad that in my career I got to do some advertising work. And hopefully I'll do more because it's just so fun to be able to do this type of stuff for uh, advertising. I have this issue or issue. I have this record right here, this Power Records right here. It is great seeing this art uh, and the likenesses and stuff. And I'm not even a huge Star Trek fan. This looks like it was drawn by John Buscema and inked by... Uh, Continuity Studios. I have this Wonder Woman book right here. Book and record set. I have that. I remember that ad as a kid. I remember all this stuff. Uh, I totally remember this. <clears throat> this is where I get my sense for wanting to draw heroes in normal everyday settings and stuff. I just think it's fun seeing that. Uh, this is, what was this from? Holy theme promotion, Superman. Robin had long since abandoned the Holy and DC's comic books by the time this grocery merchandise of America's campaign was launched. Look at that. I would love to see ads like this today, but you just don't. So sad. So sad. Bring this type of advertising back, I say. Bring it back. Uh, going through more, here's an elongated man story. I mean, Dick had a big career as a penciler as well, even though he was known mostly for inking. More great interview stuff. Just some of, look at this list of, look at this list of people. But no, look at this list of alumni from Continuity Associates, uh, Neil and Dick's uh, advertising company. I mean, that's amazing. Terry Austin did backgrounds for uh, Dick Giordano before he broke in as a full-time anchor. You know, you can look at this stuff and see a lot of uh, Stephanie Starr. You can see a lot of uh, Neil's influence on Dick's storytelling, his page layout and design. This is from uh, Wits End number 10. Uh, Wits End number 10 is not cheap, or I would actually uh, try and buy it because I love this story. I love this design on this female character here. Page layouts are just great. Wonder Woman. Da -da -da. Here's one of his covers that he drew. Looks like he gave this cover to Terry Austin. Man. More art of his. Who's in this picture? Uh, Dick Giordano loaned his photograph of legendary cartoonist Harvey Kurtzman left and himself from a steel chapel, steel, steeplechase park fundraising benefit for handicapped children from according to Dick a long time ago. Uh, Bob Layton and Joe Staten. That is Bob. Wow. And that's definitely Joe. Holy crap. And I know both those guys now. Oh, man. Crazy. Uh, let's see. From Batman Black Canary Team Up from the Brave and the Bold 166. Pencil by Dick and Ink by Terry. Holy crap. I've got to find this now. Brave and the Bold 166. This is now on my get list. Inked by Terry, holy cow. Brave and the Bold 166, gotta find that. 
uh, making the rules. Uh, making the rules, making the rules, do, 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 do. making the rules, making the rules. Brave and the Bold, 166. Oh, yes. Oh, I own these Atari Force comics. I love these mini Atari Force comics. They are just awesome. I remember seeing the Sword Quest, pencil by Perez, ink by Giordano as a kid, just being like, wow, blown away by the beauty of that. Some more art. Oh, here it is. Illustrated Comic Art Workshop. I went through that with you guys. Go back in my previous videos and find that. This is a page from it. He showed how he uh, broke things down. Dick's influence on DC Comics was uh, very, very huge. And of course, Man of Steel. He inked uh, John Byrne's Man of Steel when he came over, when Byrne came over to DC to do that series. Just beautiful stuff. Oh, look at that. Doing like a little Superman Sistine Chapel type of drawing there. Reinventing the rules. Breaking the rules, reinventing the rules. This Modesty Blaze one-shot book that Dick did is very nice. I mean, his layouts were really nice. Just, just a really solid draftsman. And then look at this, Aaron Lepresti. Aaron Lepresti, inked by Dick Giordano from uh, Solar Man of Adam number 55. Did you look at that? I would love to have had Dick Giordano ink my work. Darn that Aaron Lepresti. Darn him. Getting to the end of the book here. Uh, that's Dick Giordano, inked by Bob Layton. Uh, Dick and Bob did a lot of work together as well when they did this comic company, uh, Future Comics. They had a really long friendship. Uh, the Giordano Method from a page of the Phantom. Look at that. You can learn a little bit there. Get, I got to be, I got to try and find this stuff. Because uh, this wasn't printed over here in the States, as far as I know. But I've always liked the Phantom. Always been a big fan of the Phantom. Uh, this is from a classic uh, Batman story that Giordano did. And then a checklist, a huge, huge checklist. Looks like it goes in order. Uh, let's see. By year. I wonder what year that Brave and the Bold came out that I was talking about. Pardon me as I scan through and see. I don't know. I'll have to look later. Look at that. I knew it. Miss Marvel number one for Marvel Comics. He did the coverings over John Buscema. I knew it. I knew it. Every time I looked at that cover, I was like, that is, uh, that is Dick Giordano's inking. So look at that. Brave and the Bold, 163 and 166. Pencil and inks. I gotta look at those. So there you have it. Another fantastic book by Tomorrow's Publishing. I believe it's still available. Uh, if you're a fan of Dick Giordano's work, I would suggest getting this book. Until next time, guys, bye-bye. Let me know if there's any books you'd like me to review. Luke Henry, after kicking Monarch's ass to the depths of space, is back on Earth. And now he's looking to save the world from the Fourth World Foundation. Sure, he had help from a number before, but she's not helping him this time. He's got to face it on his own. He's coming for a villain known as Adonis. He'll do it. You'll be there. Back it now. First Man 2. Learning Curve.